Good afternoon, Colin here with TechOut, and today we're going to be taking a look at my 2023 M3 Pro MacBook Pro here, and this is the base for the M3 Pro. Um, not the base for the MacBook Pro, but um, the base for the MacBook Pro is the M3 with the 8 gigs of RAM. This is the M3 Pro, um, 11 core GPU, uh, 11 core CPU, 14 core GPU, and uh, 18 gigabytes of RAM. So I did go with this one. It was the most comparable to um, my last model, which was the M1 Pro. So I uh, skipped the version there and upgraded. Uh, so with this one, you do get the extra Thunderbolt port over here uh, on the M3 version. You only get two on the left side, as well as only a single external monitor support, whereas the M3 Pro and the M3 Max, you get two external monitors um, supported there. Of course, this is the Space uh, black version and I will say it's not entirely black uh, you can see here with the light shining on it um, it's kind of a gray uh, but in darker lighting conditions it is um, and it is pretty dark uh, I have my my iPhone uh, 15 Pro here um, in the black titanium so you can kind of compare those two and see what that um, is like between the two right there um, it is darker than the space gray, but uh, the previous space gray, but I wouldn't say it's black. Um, very, very nice machine. I've had it for about 24 hours now. I've uh, been messing around on it. I haven't done too much on battery. It has been hooked up to an external monitor, um, which has been working very, very well with my USB-C hub. Uh, but I don't know if it's just the fact that it's a brand new, you know, the keyboard's all clean, all the screen's all clean, nice clean machine, but it just feels very, very nice to use. I didn't put any skins or anything on this one like I did on my uh, my other one. So the trackpad's nice and smooth. It doesn't have the, the skin on or anything there. But battery life has been excellent for um, the short times that I've used it on battery. Um, I did unplug it yesterday at 100% um, and I used it for about 30 minutes and even did a software update and it stayed at 100% that whole time um, and within uh, standby overnight in sleep mode, uh, did not drop whatsoever. Um, I plugged it in today back to use it with my monitor and it was at like 98% charge back up to 100. Um, so I haven't done any demanding task on the battery yet. Um, like I haven't done any Final Cut videos or anything like that. I do that all plugged into my external monitor which also powers it. So none of that has been done on battery yet but uh, I can tell you that just like YouTube, web browsing, email, uh, and even that software update did do just fine on the battery um, and it seems like the battery life is going to be very good. We do have the same screen as last year. It is a little bit brighter, um, about 600 nits max brightness on SDR content and 1600 nits um, on HDR content. So very, very nice there um, to see it is in line with the Apple Studio display. So if you do have a studio display um, and you want to pair this up with a studio display, it will match the brightness of that studio display. So that's very nice. Uh, your image will look the same on both displays. Um, other than that, performance has been great. Um, like I said, I haven't done too much in terms of demanding tasks yet, like Final Cut. I did export one video, went through just fine very quickly. Um, opening up Activity Monitor, I know you guys can't really see the screen too well, um, but I'm kind of just showing it to read it off. Um, memory, obviously no issues with the 18 gigs. We've got about, I want to say 8 gigs free right now. Uh, CPU uh, is 99% idle, so it's barely using anything whatsoever. Uh, energy, uh, it's been on battery for 5 five, six minutes, which is, you know, since I just unplugged it uh, right now to make this video. But other than that, very good. I'm very happy with this upgrade. Um, my M1 Pro was an eight core uh, CPU, so I did get a couple extra, few extra cores rather on this one. Um, so I would say with what I'm selling my M1 Pro, MacBook Pro for, um, I am getting this upgrade for about seven to $800. Um, which I think after two years is a very, very worthwhile upgrade for a um, pro level machine like this. Um, and I'm very excited to see um, how I'm gonna be able to put it to the full potential. I am trying to uh, start using my iPhone more for videos. I am recording this in 4K. My camera doesn't do uh, 60 frames a second in 4K, so I don't know if I'll keep doing that. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments of, uh, of the slower frame rate but higher resolution. Um, if not, I can go back to 1080, 60. Um, I can do 4K60 on my iPhone um, when I use that, but uh, I don't always record with that because I don't have a tripod mount for it. And uh, most of the time, uh, I do a lot of phone-related content and accessory-related content that the phone actually has to be in the video, and I only have one iPhone um, to be able to do that with. So 
kind of the issue there. But this is the M3 MacBook Pro 14 inch. I am Colin with Tech Outdoor for the comment and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.